Hello everyone, um, I wanted to do a comparison uh, video today and talk about uh, my Red Wing boots in comparison to my Thorogood boots. And so let's start with the soles. Okay, so these have actually been resold since I first bought them. Um, I actually got them resold not with Red Wing because it was too expensive. It was like over a hundred pounds including postage and packaging to have these resold with Red Wing in London. I had to post them off and they'd post them back to me. Um, so instead of doing that I had them resold uh, with Timpsons and uh, I was quite happy with the service actually. Um, they put a Vibram sole on there which I was quite happy about but the original uh, Red Wing sole is quite dense doesn't last for very long, not too dissimilar to the Vibram but um, it's quite dense really and um, it feels the boots initially when you first buy a pair of Red Wings they're pretty tough and it takes quite a while to break them in um, so um, that is not the case with the Thorogood you can put these Thorogood boots on now even though there's more boot here um, than there is here you can see there's more material, it's a bigger boot they're actually incredibly comfortable to wear it's a bit like wearing trainers um, wearing a thorough good boot, you know you put them on there's no real breaking in period unlike the Red Wing it kind of takes quite a while to break them in in some ways they still look like they're not entirely broken in but um, at least that's how they feel sometimes when I'm wearing them um, so um, the breaking in period is much well there is no real breaking in period with the Thorogood um, whereas with with the Red Wing you know it can take quite a while for them to feel comfortable um, the Thorogood boot the sole on the boot feels softer which is very nice and you also get an insole with the Thorogood boots you don't get insoles with the Red Wing boots now considering the price it's not cool really because uh, I don't know let's see, let's see this out it's my insole I don't know if you can see inside it's just leather so for me that's quite uncomfortable um, the laces are pretty much the same um, the leather itself now the leather on the Red Wing boot feels more hard wearing I'm not sure if it's thicker but it just feels more hard wearing um, the, th the leather on the Thorogood boot is softer um, so that's the difference uh, between the two boots um, the Red Wing gives the impression that it will last longer as a boot when it comes to the leather um, I kind of feel like these boots are going to be with me till the end of time whereas these I'm not entirely the Thoroughgoods I'm not entirely sure about um, the Red Wings can take a knocking whereas the Thoroughgoods I'm not entirely sure about simply because the leather is much more supple um, let's see the stitching as you can see um, is more prominent on the Thorogood boot I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that when they're on my feet it doesn't bother me but looking at them I prefer the more conservative style of stitching on the Red Wing but as I say when they're on my feet it doesn't really bother me I actually prefer wear wearing uh, the Thorogoods over the Red Wing boots simply because they're more comfortable um, so um, the stitching is more prominent on the Thorogood in comparison to the Red Wing the laces are pretty much the same um, and I can't remember what these are called, you know. Eyelets. The eyelets and the quality of the eyelets are pretty much the same. 
So, um, you get, with the Thorogood boots, you get insoles, and not with, and you don't get insoles with the Red Wing. Now, um, with the Thorogoods, the Thorogoods are a bit louder, I think, in general, I think. You know, you have this kind of like tag here with the USA flag on. Uh, the Thorogood brand branded into the to the to the heel of the boot. You don't really have that on these Red Wings, although you can get it. You can get the brand on the boot with some Red Wing boots. Um, so yeah. So overall. I'm not entirely sure if I can get the thorough goods resold. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it um, here in the UK, but I'm not entirely sure because I haven't actually tried to have them resold yet. I've had these for about a month, and I've been wearing them for about three weeks. Um, the sole is made in the USA, a Max Wear wedge. It's slip resistant and oil resistant. I think it's pretty much the same as the original Red Wing sole, but again, to me, it just feels, it doesn't feel as dense, it feels softer. Um, the, this boot in particular is wider, from my perspective looking down, in comparison to the Red Wing. The thing I don't like about these Red Wing boots is how it kind of, they kind of sag at the sides. I don't know if you can see that. Um, they're not like that when you first buy them and um, so you know it is what it is it's not a big deal it's not a deal breaker but they kind of look rounder whereas when you first buy them they're kind of squarer um, but I suppose that's to be expected to a degree so yeah um, I'm not sure what else I can add to that really I think my favorite boot there's been times when I've been wearing the Red Wing boots and I've missed you know I've treated them like work boots and I'll be sort of like on a building site or you know doing DIY stuff around the house and just disrespecting them really and I think it's because you know the boots kind of give me that level of confidence where I feel like they can take it whereas I wouldn't do that with the red uh, with the thoroughgood boots because I don't know I'm not sure how to sort of describe it um, they just don't seem as tough they're not as tough the thoroughgood boots I mean I've only had them for three weeks or so but they just don't feel as tough in comparison to the red wing boots um, you kind of feel like if you catch if you kick something you know you might you know tear the leather whereas on these on the red wings you feel like the, the leather won't tear so um, it probably will, but it probably take a lot to tear it. Whereas the leather on the the Thoroughgood boot is a lot softer. Um, but I think, to be honest with you, it's tough. I like both of the boots because I wouldn't have bought them otherwise. But I think my experience so far leads me to feel like and believe that I prefer the Thoroughgood boots simply because as soon as you put them on you feel they feel incredibly comfortable to wear and whereas the the red wings it takes ages to break them in and I think it's disappointing that you don't get an insole with the red wings whereas you do with a thorough good so um, I definitely buy both boots again but I'd want the red wings a little bit cheaper um, you know I feel like with the thorough goods you know, you can put them on fresh out the box and there's no breaking in period. And and that kind of, for me, that's, I guess that's become quite important because I do walk a lot. Um, so there you have it. Um, they're both pretty much around the same price. Um, these are from the grc.co.uk, the heroesjourney.co.uk. Um, and they have whatever stock they have, so you have to kind of keep check checking in really with those guys. So there you have it, folks. Hope that helps. I think, generally speaking, the red the red wings are a little bit more conservative in the design. 
and uh, the thoroughgoods are a little bit more like, you know, USA, USA. <laughs> but they both look awesome with a pair of jeans um, and a denim jacket, which is, you know, that's the lifestyle that I live. And those are the circles that I move in. Um, so yeah, hope that helps. And uh, yeah, check out my other video when it comes to, you know, I've done a video where I just talk about the Thorogood boot. Um, so have a look at that too. And there's another one with the Red Wing after three months of wear.